Hi, welcome to Luxury in Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. So in today's video, I wanted to share the new clutch bag that I got um, from Hermes and get into the details of it, how I've been using it, even though I've only had it for a week, I'm already in love and have already used it. I find it to be a very useful size, um, but I wanted to compare it against my everyday bag, which is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. So we're gonna do a little what fits inside, a little bit details of what this clutch is, and I hope um, you love it. Before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Joanne, and I love to talk about luxury handbags and other luxury lifestyle products. So if you like this kind of content please make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so the grand reveal which I've just been covering with my body is this bag or clutch um, I'm going to probably call it a bag um, but you know technically it's a clutch it is the Kelly Dupesh uh, pouch probably not pronouncing that correctly because I'm not French but uh, this is actually from the men's collection. I have it here in the Etan color. You can see that it's in Palladium hardware. I've kept the stickers on the singles on for now. And then it just opens like any other Kelly lock. I wasn't aware of this before I saw it in person, but there is a slip pocket right up front here. So this is just like an extra little slot, runs all the way across and all the way down. And then the rest of the clutch is just this hole. So no other small zip or slots in there. Um, it says Hermes Paris, made in France. Um, I got this in Togo leather. This also comes in one other leather other than like exotics. I think my essay told me that they only have it in Palladium hardware at the moment. Um, so basically getting into the details of my experience purchasing this bag, I originally went to the Madison boutique to ask for a mini Lindy, but I learned that the mini Lindy is a wish list only bag at the Madison boutique. And plus they didn't have any in stock. Once I learned that, I asked if there were any mini Rulies and my essay said they only had uh, mini Rulies in exotics left, like probably ostrich, um, because again, there was very low stock. So probably all the regular leather Rulies were sold out. Um, then as I was walking around the fourth floor and looking at all the bags on display, they actually had this pouch in a noir black color sitting there and you know I'd seen this pouch before in my home store I've always thought it looked really cute and elegant so that kind of sparked my interest again and reminded me that you know this pouch and clutch existed so then I decided to ask my essay if there were any of these available so she went to check and let me know that there were three colors um, but I could only pick one that I wanted to see because they're usually not allowed to bring out more than one color at a time. I don't know if it's like a safety thing, like they don't want their, you know, expensive bags to be out in the open, something might happen to it. After learning the options, I knew that I wanted the Etan one because I've always been a fan of gray. Um, earlier this year, if you've been watching, you'll know that I had an unsuccessful gray puzzle bag that I returned. And then I originally wanted to get my Birkin 30 in the Etan. So I'm very, very happy that I finally have my Etan bag and it's beautiful. When the SA took the bag out of its box and pouch, she also asked me to wear some gloves in order to touch the bag. So I actually couldn't feel the texture of the bag before I purchased it. Um, this is to protect the bag, you know, in case um, someone changes their mind and they decide not to purchase the bag and they have, you know, some lotion on their hands or whatever that um, might damage the bag. So I just kept the gloves. Um, now let's talk about the strap. 
So this is the uh, matching strap that comes with the Depeche, Depeche. And it does come off. This is how it is attached. So there is a hardware loop inside the bag. And then you can see if I um, pull the tab and open this area, the strap will come off. So then it will become like a clutch with nothing and I could wear it like that. Or my essay actually let me know a lot of people um, will add straps to this bag and she let me try it on with a strap the way that she um, did it was um, taking the strap off and then clipping one of the other Hermes straps onto here both sides would clip into this loop and then you can just fold the strap inside and then it could become like a shoulder bag another way people like to convert Hermes clutches into bags is to buy the Ferrandol necklace and then loop it on the inside. Um, so as we were talking about that, my essay was just like, just be careful when you open it. Um, since it's not, you know, caught on anything like the loop, then the bag could easily slip down and just crash onto the floor. So I'm probably not going to do that. Um, I do plan on getting a longer strap for this bag at some point. In addition to carrying it as a wristlet, which I think is super chic and adorable and it makes me feel like a real grown, elegant woman. Um, I also would like to carry it as a crossbody. So if it could sit, you know, on my lower hip here. I think that would look really, really adorable. I probably won't want to wear it as a shoulder bag to have like a shorter strap because that's just not my style. But you can see like if it's just holding it like this as well, like it, um, like I think it looks perfect and it doesn't look manly at all. So I have no idea why this bag is in the men's collection. My essay did share with me that, you know, as the women's Kelly's and Birkins have been harder and harder to get, the interest in this clutch has also been increasing um, because it does have the Kelly singles and the closure, which does increase the interest in any style and also, of course, the price. So now let's get into actually what fits. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you what's in my everyday bag. Um, I've actually filled it a little bit more than I usually carry it. But obviously, it's not going to be able to fit as much because it is thinner. Um, you can see it's basically half the size of the Pochette Matisse. I'm filming on my phone right now, so I just have a phone case. And usually what I do is I throw my phone in the back zip here. So now with my phone case, you can see that it does slide and fit very well into there. I don't have the Mac size, um, just the regular iPhone 13 size. I don't carry a lot, but the things that I do carry are quite bulky, um, so I can't use a mini bag. Um, so this is a must. So this is my everyday wallet. I use the Louis Vuitton pouch. I can't remember what it's called. It's the one with the envelope style here and then I specifically picked it because I could attach and detach my car key. Sometimes if I don't need to bring my car or I'm not driving I'll definitely take it off to save some space. So I think it's really useful to have this. Plus it has a lot of space for card slots whether if it's the front, the zip, or the back. got this last November. The canvas has been holding up really well. Um, you know, there's no dark marks on it. It hasn't discolored so I'm very, very happy about that. So let's see how that fits in here. So I'll probably just do it side by side. My car key, my car key is also very bulky. So I'm just laying it flat like that. And then what else I have in here is a pouch for my sunglasses, hand sanitizer, it's quite a big bottle. Um, I have my Chanel La Creme lotion. I have my aligner case. Now that I have aligners, I have to bring this everywhere if I'm going to eat. And then I have my Chanel pouch. So all of that fit very, very easily. 
um, in the middle and front sections of the pochette, but I'm definitely not going to be able to fit all of that in the Depeche. So I would like probably pick and choose what I take with me. For example, if I know I'm going to be eating, I'll probably take this um, and I can fit that probably on the left side here. And then I would probably pick one or the other uh, sunglasses or my pouch with um, my chapstick, lotion, things in it. So let me just show you. So this can probably slide in there. And then let me see if this closes. Um, actually, let me see if I can slide my sunglasses in here as well. So I do pick a slim and uh, small pouch for my sunglasses so it's not taking up too much space. So let's see if I can close this now. So it definitely closes, which I'm very surprised. Um, let me see, you can see it's not actually bulging at all. Um, I would say the top here is maybe pushed out a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's going to, it's not too bad. So it's not going to make like some horrible dent in the leather. Um, because this is Togo leather, it's malleable, it's soft, and I definitely feel like my items are very secure with the Kelly lock. However, I will say that I always get worried with any bag. Um, if I have something small, like a mini lipstick, if it will slip out the side here. I mean, that would be the same for the Pochette Matisse because of that gap and there's no zip. But with such a small bag, I feel like I try to save space. I try to, um, you know, not carry as many pouches and things. So if I were to just throw a mini lipstick in there, um, and swinging around my bag, I would be worried that the lipstick would just fall out. Whew. So it is quite stuffed. I don't think I would ever do this to my bag. Um, I would probably live without the pouch and just take my sunglasses if I really needed to. Um, other than that, I think the Chanel lotion is very, very nice texture, quality, everything, but it is quite thick. Um, so, you know, that kind of pushes out the bag a little bit more, but again, it's like this leather is really just molding to and allowing everything inside to uh, shift. So it works. I'm, I'm really surprised. <laughs> For my Kelly, you can see that I like having the singles hang down, but I don't like the way it looks on the clutch like this, so I would probably um, do up the singles every time I used it. But there you have it. Um, this is my new Kelly Depeche. In my next video, I want to talk about what happens when you have a stitch pop on your Hermes item. Uh, because that has actually happened with this strap. So if you're interested in that, please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. I really appreciate your time and let me know if you have any questions. I would love to be a resource for you. See you in the next one. Bye!